Hello and welcome to this short tutorial about an interactive ocean surface with Blender. So I recently posted this animation of an octopus breaking through a water surface in Blender. And I got asked how does this work. So I thought I set up a little tutorial for you so you can see the basic workflow of this. So let's start with the ocean modifier. It's pretty much just a basic Blender Ocean. There's nothing special or fancy going on here. Just set up your favorite settings, your choppiness and whatever you want to have in your ocean. And check generate normals and generate foam, that's important. Choose your coverage and choose your foam data layer, we're gonna need it later. Here I set up a basic rig with an object interacting with the ocean and as you can see nothing happens. So let's have a look at the dynamic paint. Choose your ocean surface, click dynamic paint and add a new canvas. Here we're gonna choose waves and that is pretty much all the magic. Choose anti-aliasing, check open borders and that's it. Play around with the settings you see here to get different results just as you prefer them. Now add a new canvas layer, call it wet or whatever you wanted to, check anti-aliasing and change the dynamic paint output type to wet map. Now click the little plus signs to add these two maps and check if they are really there. Yes, they are there, very good. And that's basically it for the dynamic paint. Here we can see what we created. The object is interacting with the surface and leaves this white trail, that's very good. Now choose your object. You want to deform your ocean. Check dynamic paint and add a new brush. Set your paint source to mesh volume and proximity. Don't ask me why, but it gives us better results. Set the wave tape factor to 2. So our object deformation is stronger and we can better see what's happening. And here it is. Our object deforms our ocean. Let's have a look at the materials. So this is a basic ocean shader I found online. Of course you can use your own ocean shader here if you have a better one and I am sure you do. But I think for this little tutorial this will be good enough. But we want to stay organized, so we are gonna get these nodes into a group. Just select them all and press Ctrl G to set up a new node group. Press Tab to get out of the group, name it Water, Ocean or whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And that's how our ocean looks now. Not very special as you can see and where is the foam? Here's the foam. Very simple, isn't it? Yes, it is really. We just need these settings and we're gonna mix it with our previously set up water material. And as you can see, there's an factor incoming to mix these both nodes together. And so let's put them into a group because we like organized things, call it foam or whatever you want. And let's see where this factor input is coming from. This is the material for the factor. And now we are gonna need two attribute nodes with the names of our wet map from the dynamic paint output and the foam generated by our ocean modifier output. And we are gonna add these two together, as you can see here. Now we need two noise textures, set up like this and influenced by the object texture coordinates. Because we want it to be generated at all time. Subtract it from the previous nodes and subtract the other noise texture from our previous result. And plug this whole thing into the factor output on our bottom nodes. Put them into a group because, you know, organizing is always a good thing. 
call it displacement or it doesn't really matter you know it and that's it for the material so let our object draw a little trail and go on and render it and yes this is what we wanted to achieve the object is interacting with the surface of the ocean and leaving this nice foam trail you can look at it from whatever side you want and you can even add as many objects interacting as you want just add new objects set their canvas type to brush and let it interact with your surface be also sure to play around with the wave dynamic paint options because there are other great things you can try out depending on how you want to see to look how big your ocean is and so on just play around and see what will happen so these are the final settings I used to create the little clip you saw in the intro well I noticed that you don't need the generate normals option in the ocean modifier because we are not using it at any point and uh, if you go to the dynamic paint in your waves options I used a time scale of 0 0.1 because I noticed that higher values are better for smaller water surfaces and smaller values are better for bigger water surfaces such as an ocean I also set the smoothness down to 0.6 because well you know it shouldn't be that smooth it should be more of a rough surface so this value seems to fit my needs in the wet map I also checked dissolve because I wanted it to be a little bit smoother and the foam should dissolve slowly over time I also checked use spread in the dynamic paint effects panel so it would behave a little more dynamic and that's it for the moment if you want to see more tutorials in the future please let me know what you would be interested in and uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to you can check out other videos i created recently thank you for watching and goodbye